Welcome in, Clay Travis Buck Sexton Show. We are going to have some fun here as the Democrats are losing their mind over the January 6th anniversary. They're actually going to have, and I'm not even making this up, a candlelight vigil on the steps of the United States Capitol tonight. They've already spoken, uh, Barack, uh, Barack Obama, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in uh, the early morning to try and set the agenda of this day. More importantly, over 330,000 kids in Chicago, still not in school, kids all over the country, Atlanta area kids, uh, so many different kids not in school, not being paid attention to, COVID setting all-time re- uh, headlines. I saw you, Buck, tweet, and I thought this was great. That Biden wore a mask to walk up to deliver his speech, (laughs) to take the virus seriously, and then took off his mask to begin his speech. I just want to thank him for making sure that no one got COVID in uh, those uh, that that dastardly four seconds that he spent walking up to the lectern. That they're that open about how this is just theatrics. And we're supposed to take all of their proclamations seriously. It's it's stunning how stupid they think everyone is willing to be. A lot of people are, unfortunately, but not all of us. I actually think this is not landing in a very significant fashion for much of America, this anniversary idea, because, one, most people are aware that there's no real existential threat to American democracy. Two, Kids are going back to school or parents are having to cover for kids not going back to school at the end of the winter holiday. By the way, six inches of snow pummeling the city of Nashville right now, Buck. It's like I-95 in Virginia on steroids. I was just telling you off the air. People in the South cannot drive when there's snow. People are panicked about that. And then there's still a ton of people who are legitimately terrified of COVID thanks to all the fear mongering from Democrats for the past two years. And we continue every single day to set new highs for COVID infections. But we're not going to spend all day talking about the Democrats memorializing January 6th. But I did want to play a couple of cuts for you. First of all, uh, the uh, number two here, Kamala Harris compared January 6th to Pearl Harbor and 9-11. I swear this is real. Listen. Certain dates echo throughout history, including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were and what they were doing when our democracy came under assault. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941, September 11th, 2001, and January 6th, 2021. I mean, come on. I wish I could use expletives on this show right now. Now, Kamala is saying democracy is under assault because people didn't believe that Joe Biden was a democratically elected president of the United States. Well, guess what happened in 2016 when Trump got elected? Much of the Democratic Party lost their mind and spent five years arguing the only reason he was president was because of Russia, including Kamala Harris, who went on the radio and said she did not believe that Donald Trump was the legitimate president of the United States. Elections matter. When you win an election, you get to set the rules. How can you win with Russian interference, though? That's That's what I'm scared about in 2020. But but rightly. Because I think he's an illegitimate president that didn't really win. So how do you you know, fighting against that in 2020. You are absolutely right. So, again, as a member of the Senate Intelligence Committee, I will tell you that we should believe exactly what the intelligence community has told us, which is Russia did interfere in the election of the president of the United States in 2016. He says Donald Trump's not the legitimate president. Yes. And then Kamala says, you're absolutely right. Yes. You, you could hear this. And let's just be very clear about what they did do for four years. They created a fabrication, okay? They can talk about Russian Facebook bots until, you know, all day long. By the way, it was almost no money that Russia spent. Which is absurd. No one who understands how the Internet works thinks that that meant anything significant. But 
they did create essentially a coup narrative from within the government itself of we need to get rid of this president. He's a Russian spy. He's a Russian asset. Then the 25th Amendment got talked about. So they were trying to use through lies and through abuse the mechanisms of our government itself to get rid of a duly elected president. And now they want to lecture us about the sanctity of democracy.